Me, Rabbi Schneider, please. Shalom. My name is Yisrael Schneider. I'm continuing uh, a circle about the Megdash. I was talking this morning. I got cut off in the midst. I was trying to explain, but according to my understanding, the Oroin in the Megdash, uh, according to the way the Ramban puts the whole story together, it's quite simple. It's the mitzvah to build the Megdash. That's the building, the Mishkan, the Megdash. That's what's the Megdash. The Kerem are here for the avoidance. The Menorah, because it's the Mitzvah, right? The Menorah, the Shulchan, because it's the Mitzvah, but under the Hamaponim, it's very Haktoris, it's a Kitoris, etc. Now, it turns out that the Oren has no Mitzvah. And so it comes out that it's basically the Tiferet Samalitza. Now, the Oren is there. If, Mesh- if Moshe Mashiach will come, uh, and he'll, he'll be on the Madrig of Moshe Rabbeinu. So he'll get the war from the Kuvim. The Miwa with his no Mashiach, it, it serves no purpose. Um, the Chachid is supposed to be there. But it says the second base of Mikdash Yigmar. Missing five things. It was missing the Shechina, the Ovetum, it was missing the Oren. The Chachid is supposed to be there. But uh, since there's no avoidance that's directly connected to it, the avoidance of Yom Kippur can do with, without the, without the Oren. They avoid it in the Kodesh Uh And uh, so it turns out, according to the Ramban... Uh, Rabbi Shnadi, talk a little louder, please. It's understandable, according to the Ramban, that uh, if there's no Oren, according to the Ramban, that the Mitzvah, also the Mikdish, is to make the Mikdish and all the Kalim. So it says, right, the Oren is the first Kli. Why is the Oren not Ma'akib? And the Ramam says, this is the seven Kalim. And the Shami says, the Ma'akim. The mitzvah of making the Megdish is only when you have all seven Kalim there. What about the Oren? So I was starting to say, because the mind of the Oren, that it has the Luchos, it's like Shabbos. If somebody takes out a merit from Mishu Shiyachat Mishu Surabim, this part of the Tzvachat and it's part of the Mita also, because the Mita is part of the Mesh. The same thing over here. The Oren was the Mitzvah to make the Oren. The Sal made the Oren. But once you put in the Luchas, it became part of the Mitzvah Shmai. So therefore, it's not part of the Mitzvah. It's no longer something that has to do with, with this with the human being. It's a heavenly object. That's one way. And so come on, according to the, 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 the Ramba, we to the Ramban, damages some way the mitzvah the right uh, to make a new orange and you make a bracha on it it's part of the mitzvah but also the mitzvah but the right is not asking because uh, it's, 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 it's a mala from this world right and the story is the Shem of the Kena, right the Nikla is the seven kingdoms, the seven planets the three upper planets are invisible to the naked eye right you can tell us on the story, it's, uh, there's no mitzvah on the story. It's not part of the, the mitzvah. It's not really a type of part of the mitzvah. It's lived, though. You know, as we spoke before, that according to the Balamor, the Kalim cannot claim, sure, it cannot become the buyer of the Hulo. And we explain with the morale because it's with Rashi that, uh, that the Kishore always has to have the same surah. Of Nivdol, uh, Nivdolus, that uh, it's the, the clay shows is different than the Binyan. The Binyan is Maiseh, Maiseh Tachtonim, and it can become a Chulo, and it can change the Tzura, but the Kalim, according to Rashi, the Tzura cannot, cha- cannot change, and it can't become a Chulo, according to the Balamor. And here we have a higher level of Nivdolus. The orange is so Nivdol, it's not, even part, of, it's not part of the Mikdash. It's not an integral part of the Mikdash, it's not market. Okay, that's one way. And another way is that the Ramba, the Ramba must say no, that the Oren cannot become damaged. You know, the Ramban, I assume, agrees that the Luchas cannot be destroyed. The law of entropy doesn't, doesn't affect the Luchas, because they might say the The Rambam says, goes further, he says the, 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 the Oren cannot be destroyed, cannot be damaged. There's no law of entropy. So therefore, it's a mitzvah the Shaita. It was, it was only one time shot. Uh, <laughs> the child made the oil, and that's it. And the Mitzvah the Shaita, he don't make a bracha. He didn't make a bracha when he made the oil. 
Thank you, Rabbi Schneider.